I'm yeah, laughing with Phil that he makes me dark. Like when I sit next to him, I look more dark, and he's saying he looks pale. She makes me look pale. <laughs> I don't believe him, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Welcome back to my world. My name is Lin Zabu, and this channel is so much about my music and all my adventures. Mm. And today I'm chilling with Phil Blend. Thank you so much to have, for that? having me. Is that your real name? My real name is Phil Bland. My YouTube channel is Unplanned Phil Bland. You see how I pronounced his other name? I won't say it again. I don't want to embarrass myself. Phil. Phil. No, a Phil is good. Philip. Oh, you're Phil. Actually, I'm Philip. <gasps> his Philip is not... Okay. But, <laughs> but the only person that calls me Philip is my mum when she's annoyed at me. Again. You know what I mean? Again. It's like, Philip. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> Clean your room. Me too. The only person who calls me Lynette uh -huh. is my stepmom when she's mad at me. Yeah. When she says, you Lynette. You know, you Ugandans understand. When your parent says, Gwe, and then your name, eh? You know it's about to go down. Mm. Anyway, I met Mr. Phil or Phil Bland. Um, where do you come from? Scotland. He's Scottish, and we know the Scottish people. But I will, I'll chill it. Oh. I notice, I notice he has Scottish what, eyes. What do you think of Scottish people in uh, Uganda? I think Scottish people. I'll leave that because it will feel so personal. <laughs> anyway, his channel is called Unplanned Phil Bland. Unplanned Phil Bland. So he vlogs about anything that he can come across like hmm. basically anything and you should go and watch his channel and subscribe as well well I do videos about almost anything maybe the names differ <laughs> but the yeah. same thing so I want to ask Phil a few questions and I hope you guys stick around with us so Phil how long have you been here I came to Uganda in January this January. year yeah I arrived on the 12th of January and I started making YouTube videos about Uganda and the culture here and things to do and see and places to go and meeting some of the people and yeah so what has been the most exciting thing I asked you the other time when I met you at the Vachiga Nation but you said that's a hard question. I'm still going to ask okay. you. Okay. What has been the most interesting thing about Uganda? Well, for me, like I've made many videos, whether it's Gaddafi Mosque or going to blankets and wine events or going to Port Portal or going to Jinja. Where did I come from Port Portal? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So I've been to many places and done many things here. So it is hard to choose. I would personally, mm -hmm. I would choose... Um, going to Jabali Forest and staring a, a chimpanzee, a, a male chimpanzee in the eyes for like a minute and having a connection with him. That was just like an awesome personal what experience. What were you thinking about when well, you stared at them like straight in the eyes? Well, I was just thinking, you know, he's looking at me, looking at him and yeah, it was <laughs> just a strange experience because they're so like us. Um, but, I mean, it's been amazing for me coming here and meeting all the people in Uganda. I've been to, like, a wedding over in um, Tungamo. Mm -hmm. And I've been to Fireboy concert. So I've done loads of things. I've met so many cool people here. So, yeah, I'd definitely say, you know, seeing the chimpanzees and also, like, hanging out and getting to know the culture here in Uganda. He's quite a mover. He's been everywhere in less than a year. And some of you... Yes, you haven't been anywhere except your villages. You should explore Uganda. It's beautiful. Do not wait to go to Dubai, to America, to wherever. Uganda is beautiful. And I think he's testifying to that. I would 100% agree with that. <laughs> also, anyone watching this thinking about coming to Uganda, you definitely should. It's a beautiful place to spend some time. Is it safe? It's like 
I didn't have any preconceptions before I came to Uganda. I thought I thought it was going to be a safe place, but I, I've noticed that the people here are just so welcoming. Anywhere I go, people just want to are curious about me because I'm a foreigner. They want to get to know me. They're so welcoming and so kind and, and generous. So I would definitely say it's safe. And also, people always say that it's uh, there's a lot of thieves here. <laughs> well, Ugandans tell me there are thieves, yeah, but yeah. I've I have personally never experienced anyone try to steal anything from me. So I don't know. Maybe I've just been lucky. But every genuinely, I've had almost no bad experiences in Uganda. That, that was going to be my next question. Like, do you have any moment in Uganda where you felt unsafe? Um, no, I mean the 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 only thing that was uh, quite funny in a way was someone in some guy in Jinja pulled <laughs> pulled over the car, rolled down the window as I was looking for my Airbnb. I was sitting on the curb, mm -hmm. and he said, rolled down the window. He said, Muzungu. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> oh my god, that must have been scary. And I was just sitting like, I looked up and I was like, wow. And then he just rolled up the window and then he left. But like, I, I call out that one thing mm. because it's the only instance that I can remember. But I've been here for four months. I've interacted with so many people. And other than, you know, something small like that, it's generally been completely... You know when they call you Muzungu, I'm sure now you're used to that expression of you being called Muzungu because obviously you're white uh -huh. and now you look blonde so that even makes it worse. What are you talking about? This is my nat <laughs> this is my natural no, hair please. color. It's now blonde. This is natural. <laughs> now that he's more blonde, we are more convinced that he's a Muzungu, so we say that I'm um, Albino. <laughs> no, he's not. He's lying. So how about the food? How have you found our food? Have tried, you tested? I've tried it all, uh, although I only eat fish, so um, fish. I keep laughing because I say that in almost all my videos. But the other day I asked you if you wanted to try, um, what, the, the local beer for Wachiga, you remember? Ah, yes, yes. And you said, I tried, but I know, that was like... I'm not a big fan of fermented uh, uh, drinks. Um, so you, he even has a background check. He yeah, knows it's yeah, from yeah. the I've tried ghee as well. Ghee? How did you find that? Didn't like that either. But in Barara, did you try it? Yeah, I tried that in, in Tungumu, yeah. And um, what else? But I've enjoyed Matoke, I've enjoyed Posho, I've enjoyed the fish stew. You say, I've tried Matoke. Don't say I've enjoyed. Say, I've tried. I've tried and enjoyed. Exactly. He, he just tried. No, because I haven't just tried. I've tried many times because I've been here for so long. I'm basically Ugandan <laughs> now. Yeah. But, uh, all right. So, about the weather. G-nut. G-nut. Oh, I've tried G-nut. Do you know how to cook it? No, no, I haven't cooked anything, but I've, uh, I've... Are you a cook? Do you love cooking? I've cooked before, yeah. I know how to cook. Yes, cooked before. Unfortunately, I've Phil... I've tried cooking. Phil will be on his way to his next destination, but if he was going to be here for a few more days, I would definitely teach him to cook one or two meals before he gets to Kenya, because it's going to get Next even. time, next time. We'll exactly. do it in Dubai when I come to Dubai. Ah, you're coming? Um, yeah. But in Dubai, how am I supposed to teach you Ugandan food in Dubai? We will figure it out. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go searching for some tilapia. In, yeah, there uh, is tilapia. There are lots of have... yeah, there are lots of uh, Ugandan hotels in Dubai. Wow. That do serve Ugandan cuisine. All oh, right. So about your YouTube channel, when did you start your YouTube channel? Well, I did some videos when I back in 2020. Uh, and I made some videos doing interviews with people but they were very rough and just over like zoom and then I stopped making YouTube videos after around a month and a half and I took two years off and uh, and then and then I quit my job at the end of November and I decided I'm gonna come back I'm gonna come to Uganda make some videos and I arrived here and I didn't really know what Which I was you going to do from Australia uh, I was in where were you? I was in the UK. Oh, in the UK. Yeah. Right. And um, and so I just quit and I went to America to visit my brother in Louisiana for mm -hmm. one month. Mm -hmm. And then I booked a flight to come to Uganda and started making videos here. And that was in January. So, so I started wh wh in what January. What was the inspiration? What were you like? Okay, this is 
because what I want to do, I don't want a nine to five job. I'm gonna what what was it about? Yeah, well, I mean, because many people want to just quit their job and start, and we all have a breaking point where you say, okay, this is it for me. So what was it for you? Well, it was more not really a breaking point. Mm -hmm. It was more like I had been planning for like two years mm -hmm. to do something entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. I'd already taken some time off work to try to do something else before. Ah. So I'd, I'd, I'd had that moment of breaking point, I want to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Then I spent two years doing that, mm -hmm. but I built something that nobody used. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> what did you build? I built an app. What, what was the app called? It was called Big Build. What and was it, it about? It was about teams coming together to do projects. So um, a client would come to this platform and they would search for a team mm -hmm. and they would speak to the team leader mm -hmm. and the team leader would send them a proposal for what they would do for a project mm -hmm. and then that they would agree that contract and then the team leader would also use the same app to go and find the individual contractors that would be part of that team and they would bring they would agree with them so it was a very complex system but I built yeah. it all I wrote all the Have software you seen my face she's when you was <laughs> yeah I know it's not exactly the easiest thing to explain but I uh, I spent two years building that mm -hmm. and then nobody used it so then I ran out of money and then I decided to go back and do some contracting for a while mm -hmm. so for me it was more like I have saved up enough money again to take another chance to do something entrepreneurial. And I could have gone back this year to continue working mm -hmm. and I didn't hate it. I actually, you know, got a, I enjoyed working with the smart people. Mm -hmm. I got to work on interesting projects. I was building technology for banks. Mm -hmm. So it was good, but I have always wanted to, rather than be employed, mm -hmm. own the, the thing that freedom. I'm producing yeah. so that if it, if if it succeeds I get the benefits and if it uh, fails mm -hmm. then you know that's down to me yeah. and I like the uncertainty I like uncertainty I like chaos I like feeling Ew, like, not sure like... whether things are going to happen so yes, who else likes chaos do you like chaos <laughs> I... guess who else likes chaos <laughs> anyway wow that is very inspiring like I'm at the time in my life where I'm at that stage, mm. do I keep being employed? Do I just, you know? But what has been your most memorable video so far? I understand you have around 100 plus videos so far. But what is that video you watch and you're like, Bang, that was my favorite video so far? Well, I enjoyed doing the Fireboy video. Ooh. That was good fun, that event. Um, the meant the event videos, I went to Galaxy TV mm. at, at Galaxy FM. I did a video there at the event, blankets and wine. Mm. I enjoy interacting with many people in mm. one place mm -hmm. and getting to know everyone. Mm -hmm. So the the video I did about the circumcision ceremony mm -hmm. for oh, uh, Kidoti. Oh, you did the circums. I was supposed to attend, but then I delayed my flight by two days ah. and I missed it out. But how was that? Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Cause would, it, would you go, go for the circumcision? Uh, I, didn't, I, don't <laughs> think, I don't think I personally want to be circumcised. <laughs> Why not? Or, or watch anyone else be circumcised. But, but you watched it anyway? No, no, I, I watched the ceremony, so they didn't actually circumcise anyone in this No, ceremony. they didn't? No. Then we need to take you to Mbale mm. when it actually happens. Mm. And then you can see... If, Somebody stand there and they Yeah, they showed me the knife. I'm not sure if I want to... Uh, to see that. They might try to corner me. I'm not sure. No, they can't. No, because I'm you're not curious. from that tribe. They but yeah, can't. But yeah, I mean, it was amazing seeing all the cultural uh, things that they do for that event. So, yeah, I just like the events where there's lots of people around that I get to interact with. Okay. What question would you like to ask me? Um, what question would I like to ask you? Mm -hmm. What... Um, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Uh, because I went in my school, I studied mass communication and I'm a very talkative person ah. and I like interacting with people and I like keeping my memories somewhere. I'm, I'm very clingy to memories. Yeah. I, I, I like 
So when I noticed, I could actually keep my memories on YouTube. Yes. And I, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can share them with other people. Yeah, and I can share them with other people. At first, I started my YouTube channel just as a form of putting my music on there because it's basically the only safe place I would keep my music. And I know maybe one person or two people will pass by and watch it. But when I started making a little bit of money off it, I was like, hmm. So why not do more videos? Yeah. <laughs> so I started doing more and more videos about YouTube. Love it. Mm -hmm. But now I want to do YouTube as a full-time job. I'm still trying to sit down and draw you know, where I want to do, where, yeah. I, where I want to go next and, and all that stuff. Love it. Love it. Yeah, well, it was amazing because we just met at the uh, the event that we went to on Martyrs Day the other day. Lynn just uh, <laughs> saw me in the crowd, the, the only Muzungu at the event. No, no, because you're the only Muzungu because I had seen you. Because the blonde video. hair as well. No, but no, because I had seen you coloring oh, your hair. Yeah, because yeah. I'm your subscriber. When you post something, I'll see. Oh. So you had done coloring your hair. So when I saw somebody, I was like, that's the guy. <laughs> 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 so I went straight to tap on him. It's usually not my type tapping on people because mm. you never know they could actually be like, what the? Yeah. yeah but anyway. But I, I didn't, did I? He was sweet. He was very nice. He asked questions. He took pictures. You didn't send me my pictures though. Oh, I did. You, like... you should send them so I can attach them <laughs> to this. Picture. Sorry. <laughs> Calling me out on public. <laughs> in public. And also, he... You were eating popcorns and then beer. Oh yeah, yeah. I was all alone and Lynn came and saved me, so. I was too busy filming <laughs> content, eating popcorn. No, but you said you don't want to go with people when uh -huh. you're going to do content because it means they're going to limit you. No, yeah, I just feel bad on the person that I'm making the content with. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a matter of finding the same chaotic people you yeah, know yeah, yeah. people that's with true, the same true, vibe and then you know oh he's doing stuff i'm gonna go do stuff mm. and then when the stuff is done it's time to party and then yeah I like that. anyway guys what would you like feel to tell you about himself you can leave a comment yeah down and I'll get him, or he will get to you directly through the comments. Do you know, do you know what we'll do? We'll do another, we'll do a Zoom call because I'm going to Kenya mm -hmm. and Len will be traveling back to Dubai at some point, uh, potentially. Maybe next month, yeah. So, so at some point, uh, we'll do a Zoom call and mm -hmm. we'll answer the questions that you guys put below. That you so, want to ask Phil. You said you come from? Scotland. He comes from Scotland. Oh, you wear skirts. We wear the kilt. The question I've been dying to ask is, are they usually some kind of undies? No, nobody wears anything. The, the, so, in Scotland, if anyone is wearing a kilt, what you should do is you should ask them, are you a true Scotsman? And if you if they say, yes, I'm true, it means that they're not wearing any underwear. Guys, can you imagine? Yeah. So, many times <laughs> when I was younger and I used to go to a nightclub and things, you would have people... Coming wearing up, them? you would have girls coming up to you and putting their hands up your 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 kilt. I can't imagine. Naughty that. Scottish why, girls. Why would you go to a club in a you call in a, it what? In a in a kilt. Kilt. Yeah. Okay, you guys who don't know the kilt, I'm going to attach it here so you can see how a kilt looks like. Looks very nice. But oh god, I was at the 2020 Expo in Dubai and I saw this Scottish gorgeous man. And they had kids, and I kept wondering if they have something in there. I probably know them. <laughs> were they doing dental white? Were they doing teeth whitening? No, they were dancing and just oh. directing people to their tent, oh, to their I pavilions. I and basically that was about it. So anyway, I'm here with Phil to catch up, to... Say goodbye. Say goodbye. But I hope it's not the last time we meet or have this kind of conversations. Uh, he's heading to... Where are you heading next? Kenya. He's heading to Kenya. So make sure you follow up Phil everywhere he goes. And we'll keep in touch, guys. Yeah. So other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'm hungry. And I'm going to be having too, my, my meal with him. Yeah. 
Let's go and eat. I don't have his number. Don't ask for it. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask, but... Don't, uh, don't ask for his number. I, I mean, I don't have it. Ah. Yeah. Well, guys, well, you can ask him. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to Lynn's channel as well, and you've just come across this video, uh, then yeah, hit subscribe to Lynn's channel. And yeah, my channel's Unplanned Phil Bland. You can just search for Unplanned Phil Bland in the title, and then you can go over there, watch some of my Uganda videos, and you know, do whatever you want. Enjoy. Other than that, thank you so much for keeping up with us, with my craziness, with our unplanned stories of the day and hope to catch you in my next vlog bye